equally there are opposition run governments which have done sometimes better than others sometimes worse indeed sometimes better than their own past record while sometimes falling short of their past achievement our approach to the panchayati raj and nagarpalika bills has been non partition we have drawn from the experience of all we are beholden to all we now bring forward a bill which makes democratic decentralization to the nagarpalikas a keystone of the country's constitution having discovered that there is an irresistible grounds oil of popular support for the panchayati raj and nagarpalika bills one opposition party has now come up with an alternative proposal for a constitutional amendment the proper forum to table such amendments would be the floor of this house but since the party mainly responsible for this alternative proposals has failed its democratic responsibilities their proposals cannot even be considered let us see what happens in the other house where in glaring contrast to their behavior here they cling like fixer to their seats then there are the purists of the opposition who say that in no circumstances will they have any truck with constitutional provisions for local self government their purity is however called into question when one discovers that as recently as at the february this year a joint meeting of the central council for local government and the all india council of mayors the delegations of the telugu desam government of andhra pradesh the left front government in kerala and the left for and the left front government of west bengal were all party to a resolution which demanded a constitutional amendment in relation to the nagarpalikas there are yet other constituents of the national front who demanded at the 11th joint meeting a uniform statute for all nagarpalikas in the country how can there be a uniform statute without a constitutional amendment and even assuming for a moment that this is achieved by some legal debate the essential differences between a constitutional amendment and a municipal statute remains the consequences of a constitutional amendment cannot be retraced our proposals would enshrine democracy in the local bodies in the most scared basis of our modern nationhood in contrast any model bill will have no binding significance for state legislatures and no guarantee of outlasting changes of party or personality if we really want democracy and devolution in the nagarpalikas there is no alternative to the kind of constitutional amendments we propose the starting point of the nagarpalika bill is the recognition that those who live in urban settlements are entitled to the same democratic rights and the same rights and responsibilities for development